Today with Rusty Bishop's Garage, we're going to be doing some front brakes. Thanks for dropping by Rusty Bishop's Garage here. Today we're going to work on the brakes on this Transporter T2. It's my 1974 Bay. Hopefully you can get something out of this, uh, learn a little bit, maybe as I learn too. And, uh, well, let's just get to it and change these brakes. All right, working on our 74 Bay here. Front disc brakes on this. We're going to go ahead and swap those out. The uh, old ones, I'm sure, are toast, so... Uh, let's get started with jacking this. You can see that here, right behind, is the normal jack position. And there's a special set of jacks that come with here, but what we're going to do is a normal floor jack. And we're going to come under here. We're just going to, this is that frame for that, for the jack spot. We're just going to come back here where it meets the main frame and just lift up right there at the strongest point. Because these buses can be pretty frail, so rather not break this thing. All right. All right. Gonna raise this up just enough so I can start the lug nuts on the tire coming off. Then we'll pull our tire. So, I'm going to have to do the brakes tomorrow because I just started getting into this and I noticed something right there in that grill. I saw a bee. <laughs> yep, I saw a bee crawl in there. And I just want to show you what I found in there. If you can see that. can see how big that nest is. It covers about the first six little teeth. So, so not gonna do the brakes today tomorrow ciao right, so here's our B issue we've got a carcass down there now and that's a car starting in the background we got that there let's go ahead and take a look and see what this looks like now oh good sized All right, let's just clean that up, get that out of here. Got our tools in place. Gonna dig into this now. First look here. Just kidding, got this working. First look here, yeah. All right, first step, we take this clip off clip here. Holds this in. There it is. Normally it would slide in here. Holds this down. It's in this little edge right there. Next step, 
19 millimeter socket. There's going to be two bolts, one here and one just down here that we'll undo. We've got upper, lower bolt, normally at 119. Doesn't take it too much to get it off. You can see one of these bolts has a collar on it. And the other one is threaded all the way up. Just remember which one goes where or you'll uh, get a surprise when you go to take this off. All right, both bolts are off. Caliper. This will slide off. Okay. Well, there's our caliper off. You can kind of see that the thickness isn't too bad on these. It's about half down from where it would be on the stock ones. Which are right here. Comparatively, you can kind of see the thickness. All right. So now we're just going to undo this here. And then we're going to slip our new caliper in place and stick that on. Well, and we need to change the rotor too. So we got that off. There it is over there. We did a little PB blaster here. We're ready to put the new one on. New rotor on. Those are the two ones you have to tighten. I'll get the foot pounds down in the text below. All right, so there's our new caliper. We just have attached to the old line. We are gonna have to replace this hose, but we won't do that today. So now we just need to put that in place. Don't those cleaned up rims and tires and... Ah, oh, man, that's just looking good on there. It's going to be pretty nice once we get this all done. And I should have some project stuff coming up here pretty soon for Jerry here. And, uh... Yeah. We're going to be doing all sorts of CV boot stuff in the back. We're going to be doing some... Suspension parts on the upside under Jerry to give him a little bit more bounce and uh, kind of return him to normal. Um, it, uh, it's not that Jerry's got a problem with not being normal at this point. But what the problem is is that everything underneath is still from 1974 and all of the rubber is basically just deteriorated. Ball joints are still good, but you know what? All the rubber is gone, so yep, we'll be replacing that. All right, well, there's Rusty, the old truck. There's Coraline, the T-Bird, that is not Coraline colored, but blue, but it'll go back. There's our Mustang. Way in the back, kind of hard to see. Oh, we've got an Edsel Citation right there, hard top and then back here in the back. At some future point is our Edsel Citation convertible from Canada. One of 126 produced out of the shop up there in Canada. And uh, we'll be working on that one at some point. Oh, yeah. And here is our John Deere, which, of course, since I've got a couple acres of yard, is a necessity. And I've got a, <laughs> got a new rubber band to replace on that thing. Yep, there's no way that I'm going to mow this manually. I did it once. I think I about died. All right, thanks for coming by. We'll see you next time.